Hello everybody, uh, good to see you here this afternoon. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up some of the slides now, if you could queue up some of the, my first slide, thanks. So what I'm going to talk about is film production in the 21st century, or what I tend to refer to more these days as screen production and screen education that we uh, provide here in the School of Film and Television in the Hong Kong Academy for Performing Arts. So what I've done here on the first slide is I'm given a bit of an overview of what I'm going to cover in this uh, short presentation today. I'm going to start out with a couple of questions. Uh, why should you encourage your students and your parents, parents of students, uh, that maybe uh, an education, a screen education, uh, or uh, an education in film or media production might be something that is useful for them and it might be something that be a, could, they can lead to a career uh, in the future. So that's a, that's a question I'm going to throw out there. I'm going to throw out another question as well, so something to do with virtual reality. You might have heard about virtual reality. Is virtual reality going to replace cinema? So I'll, I'll get to deal with that a little bit later in the presentation. Um, so over, we've got the pandemic at the moment. During the past year or two, um, some quite profound things have started to happen in the screen industries internationally. Um, in, the, in, the, in the past year, we've probably noticed uh, that the film industry uh, in China has probably become the leading film industry in the world. It's probably definitely overtaken the Bollywood, the Indian film industry, and probably the Hollywood film industry as well. Uh, what I've been doing is I've been gathering uh, some uh, information, uh, some statistical information uh, over the past couple of days that pretty clearly indicate that this is happening. However, um, statistics are always problematic and particularly at this moment when we've got the pandemic operating around the globe, um, not all industries are operating as uh, on, the, on the same level playing field. So the statistics may be a little bit wary, but it seems to be fairly indicative uh, that the China film industry is now uh, the major film industry uh, on this planet. Um, what we do in the School of Film and Television is we deal with uh, mainstream cinema, art cinema. Uh, we also deal with um, uh, documentaries, uh, we deal with screenwriting, uh, we deal with series, uh, and we deal a lot with short filmmaking. So we teach the students to make short films. Our process in the School of Film and Television is very much experiential, so we're very production driven. We want students to make things, uh, to work, to use tools, to come up with ideas and to work out how to get their ideas, how to transfer their ideas from in their head uh, onto a screen uh, for an audience, for a particular audience, for a target audience. Um, but I want to look at, I want to look at a little bit, if we could go to the next slide, please, which I'm going to do myself. Uh, I've just grabbed some of these quotations uh, from uh, various sources over the last uh, couple of uh, weekends. Um, so what we're looking here is that the, the, the film and television industry is really being led these days by the games industry, by the video games industry. The games industry is a huge industry uh, and a lot of the innovations that happen in terms of communicating with audiences, of telling stories, are being developed and driven uh, by the games industry and then fed down to television, drama production, even documentary production and, and certainly mainstream cinema production. So the games industry is the, is the big mo driver, the big motivator uh, in, in the whole media space. Uh, out of that, you'll see that um, uh, despite the pandemic, um, the US box office has been fairly healthy, um, 5.6 million uh, in March 2021 in the box office. So in spite of the pandemic, with a lot of cinemas closed down, uh, we are seeing a lot, of, uh, a lot of box office happening. Thank you. Um, I will hold this microphone as well. So we're seeing a lot of uh, box office uh, still strong uh, in the US, uh, but we're seeing that the, the Chinese uh, box office has been particularly strong. I pulled out uh, some of the figures for not the last weekend, not the weekend that's just passed, but the weekend before 
this and the three highest grossing films, mainstream cinema films in the world, globally, uh, were a film called Hi Mum, a film called Chinatown Detective 3, and then a film called Kong vs. Godzilla, or is it Godzilla vs. Kong? Uh, but anyway, they were the three highest grossing films in the world, and the first two of those are all uh, China mainland productions. Uh, so the box office success uh, right at the moment, right up to date, right as of now, uh, is being driven uh, by films that are made in China, uh, producing uh, the greatest amount of, uh, of income, uh, the greatest number of uh, people looking at the screen in mainstream cinema is happening in China. Um, so this is a snapshot of some of the information that I've, that I've pulled together. Um, and the, to, to summarize some of this information, um, you can see that, um, uh, that I've, I've put a slide there basically summarizing what we're talking about here. Uh, the real takeaway from this is that the China box office is something that's really surging ahead. So to answer that question about are there viable careers, uh, is screen education, is screen production, is film production across all of its different types and genres, is it something that's going to be a viable industry for students to start studying uh, now uh, and looking ahead across the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years? And I think fairly clearly um, the answer is yes. Uh, we've seen that in Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong is a city that has, has a rich tradition, a very proud tradition uh, of filmmaking. Um, and that tradition uh, is, is, is still, is still puts Hong Kong in a great position to be able to produce um, various uh, filmmakers, various cinematographers, directors, post-production, visual effects, animators, uh, that can all feed into the wider boom in film production uh, that's happening right across China. So this is a, a pretty remarkable situation. Uh, it's a great opportunity and a great time uh, if you were a young student and you were interested in, in telling stories, uh, in visual uh, storytelling, in using sound and image or music, uh, and indeed performing arts uh, to contribute towards screen production, um, then this is a, a great moment uh, to be in Hong Kong and to be learning these kinds of skills uh, because absolutely, definitely, there's a booming industry uh, that's developing uh, right around Hong Kong. And there's no reason that, that, that people receiving the education in Hong Kong can go on to do very well uh, in the future. So I think that particular question is pretty easy uh, to, uh, to wrap up. Um, our experiential, our experiential uh, teaching and, and curriculum focus, production-driven focus in the School of Film and Television uh, is something that uh, we've been looking at very carefully recently and, and we've done a very thorough curriculum review. Uh, within the academy we've just come off a, a major external review and we have designed some new aspects of our curriculum and one of the outcomes of that is something that we call the Screen Production and Research Center or we call that SPARC. All new first year students will be learning animation, will be learning digital media and will be learning things like virtual reality uh, in the um, in the first year when they arrive in the school and they'll be working within the Spark Center within the Wan Chai campus. So we want all the students, all new students will be getting a very thorough grounding uh, in all of the real new innovative uh, digital uh, media uh, tools uh, and virtual reality will be at the centerpiece of that, particularly in, a, in, an, in an academy for performing arts. We're very interested in virtual reality because the virtual reality is something that's very interesting. It's been very interesting for five or six years. It remains something that's very interesting, but the area that, that's of greatest interest to us in the School of Film and Television is that virtual reality provides neither a stage nor a screen. It's an entirely new space providing new opportunities to create and recreate new aesthetics, new ways of telling stories, new ways of interacting uh, with an audience. And that's why we think virtual reality is something that uh, is, we're paying very close attention to. And all, right from the very beginning, uh, all new students will start to become familiar with how they can work within virtual reality. 
So thanks very much. Um, uh, my name's Jeffrey Stitt. I'm the Dean of the School of Film and Television. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll say goodbye. Thanks for listening. <laughs>